Okay, we are going to continue with our arch project, one that we saved in our first lesson. And we did have a look at our project and survey point. Now let's go down and have a look at our elevations and our levels, okay? So everything in Revit is really tied to a level. Uh, everything that's modeled, pretty much. Um, it can be above or below the level, but it has to be on the level. So it's important that you, you know, decide what your levels are, how many floors you want, where your levels are going to be. So this is the south elevation. I can either double click on this little pointy part or I can double click on here and it opens that up and I can see I have level one, level two. So I want to have a level one, I want to have a level two, and I also want to have a roof plan. So I'm going to create another level. So on my architectural tab or structural tab, I'm going to click on the level tool. And over here, I'm going to say, make a floor plan. What type of plan do I want? I don't need a ceiling plan because this is going to be a roof plan. All I really need is a floor plan. I don't need a structural plan and I don't need a ceiling plan. Okay, and these are default um, view types. So just a floor plan. Thank you very much. And I don't need an offset. And I'm just going to click and drag. So I'm going to hover over here and I want it to be about you know, 3,500, let's say four meters. So I'm going to see if I can get it on four meters. I can't get it quite there, so I don't care. I'm just going to click. Notice how I, you can kind of line them up and click on there. And I can go make more levels. Okay, when you're done, you can hit escape or hit the modify tool. Then I can click over here. You can see that. And I'm going to drag that to line it up. Once they're aligned, you can drag them all together. And if I want, I can turn this guy on and off. So now let's have a look. And I want to... Um, fix the number. So I'm going to just pick on the level. I'm going to pick the blue number and I'm going to say 4,000. Now I'm doing this. Um, um, oops, 4,000. Look, I made a mistake. Okay, let's just do an undo talking at the same time. Um, I'm using metric, but we're going to also show some imperial units if you're using imperial. So for the most part, um, one inch is 25 millimeters. So and and a thousand millimeters is a meter. So uh, you can take it from there. 300 millimeters is one foot approximately. So if I say it's going to be 600 millimeters, then it's two feet. So this is four meters, 4,000. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. I see it did it again. Eight. Eight meters. Boom. Okay. And then click out. Now let's add some dimensions in while we're at it. I'm going to go to my quick access toolbar that's been moved down below here. If you don't have this here, you can go to your annotate tab and you can go to these and right click and say add to quick access toolbar. So then it's right here. Okay, and I'm going to do a um, dimension, uh, align dimension, click, click, wiggle, wiggle, place it, escape, escape. Now I'm going to pick on here once, I'm going to pick again and I'm going to say, you know, roof, or I can say top of roof, T dash roof click out. It's going to say, would you like to rename the view over here? Yes, I do. It's going to rename that. Click out. Now I'm going to take my level one and I'm going to say, click on here and I'm going to say top of main. Click out. Do I want to rename it? Yes, it renames the ceiling plan and the floor plan. Click on here, click on here, top of, I want to be consistent, top of second. Click out. Do you want to rename? Yes. Now, this one I need to fix my caps. Top of with the space. Proof. Okay, be consistent. I'm going to be a little bit careless because that's the way I'm going to teach you. Click out. Do you want to rename the view? Yes. So keep in mind, this is the level and these are the views. They're not exactly one and the same. The, this is a, a view of this level looking down at it, but this is the view of, of top of main. And this is the level top of me. The level is not the view. They are different. They are very similar and tied to each other, but don't get a level mixed up with a view of a level. Okay. So we have some levels in there and I'm, a, I'm anticipating we're going to need to stretch this out to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Clicking on here and then watch while I'm holding this, I'm going to use my middle finger on my mouse and wheel out while I'm dragging and then I'm going to let go. Isn't that tricky? I have to use two fingers at once. So that's about it for now. I want to go to an opposing view and say east and again I can click on here 
and just kind of stretch that out because I know I'm pretty sure that has to be bigger, but we are going to have to adjust it and we'll know that when we add our grid lines. Okay, so double click back to the main floor. Zoom out. Okay, now before I add my grid lines in my next lesson, I'm just going to turn on my surveying base point here. I'm going to go VV on the keyboard. Okay, I'm going to go to um, model categories. I'm going to go down to site or you can just type in S in here and open up the site category. I'm going to say turn on the survey point, turn on the project base point. In fact, I don't need the survey point. I just need the project base point. Boom, click out. Okay, that's going to be the lower left corner. So we're going to have to adjust these guys uh, a little bit. So our building's going to kind of be out over here. All right, time for a save. We can just hit our save button. Saves our architectural project. And we'll come back and um, continue with the next lesson, adding our grid lines.